The, in your op-ed, you write as follows. Rarely has a U.S. president been so wrong about so much at the expense of so many. But time and time again, history has proven that you got it wrong as well in Iraq, sir. You said there was no doubt Saddam Hussein had w weapons of mass destruction. You said we would be greeted as liberators. You said the Iraq insurgency was in the last throes back in 2005. And you said that after our intervention, extremists would have to, quote, rethink their strategy of jihad. Now, with almost a trillion dollars spent there, with 4,500 American lives lost there, what do you say to those who say you were so wrong about so much at the expense of so many? No, I just fundamentally disagree, Reagan. <clears throat> Megan, they, <clears throat> you've got to go back and look at the track record. We inherited a situation where there was no doubt in anybody's mind uh, about the extent of uh, Saddam's involvement in weapons of mass destruction. Um, we had a situation where if we, after 9-11, we were concerned about a follow-on attack that would involve not just uh, airline tickets and box cutters as the weapons, but rather something far deadlier, perhaps even a nuclear weapon. Uh, Saddam Hussein had a track record that uh, nearly everybody agreed to. We had a, an overwhelming vote of approval from the Congress, uh, more votes for the action than we'd had in uh, Desert Storm some 10 years before. Um, Bill Clinton, uh, and Nancy Pelosi, numerous others spoke to the difficulties of uh, the intelligence that all of us saw with respect to uh, the threat that uh, Saddam Hussein represented. It would have been irresponsible for us not to act.